Please lie down on your back. Laxin Shavasan. Make your legs comfortably apart. Arms six to eight inches away from the body with palms turned out. Begin to relax the body. Start with the toes. Relax the feet. Relax the legs. Relax the back. Relax the arms and the shoulders. Let go in the neck, head and the face. Watch your mind. Relax the mind by connecting with the breath. Long inhalation. Long exhalation. Slowly bring your legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms up, give a good stretch to your body, stretch your body, release the stretch. Bend the knees, turn to one side, and please sit up with the bread. Sit up straight with your eyes closed, hands on the knees in Chen Mudra. Gujananam, Gudubinadi, Savitam, Kapit Jambu, Parasari Pakshika, Uma Sutam, Shokunasha Karanam, Namami Big Nature, Padakankajam, Shadananam, Kumkumarakta Barnam, Mahamatim, they be my Yurubahanam, Rudra Sisunam, Sursaini Nagam, Uham Sadaham Sharanam, Prabhate. Ya Gundain to the Shah Haritabra, Ya Shukra Bustra Vita, Ya Vina Varadan to Mandikara, Ya Shweta Padmasana, Ya Brahma Jati Shankara, Brahmati Bidi, Deva Isada Pujita, Samam Padu Saraswati, Bhagavati, Nishishida Yapaha, Om Namashivaya Guru Ve, Sachita Nanda Mutae, Nishprapanjaya Shantaya. Shri Shivananda Te Namaha, Shri Vishnu Devananda Te Namaha, Om Sarva Mangala Mangale, Shive Sarva Dhisadike, Sharani Triambake Gauri, Narayani Namostate, Narayani Namostate, Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om Namah Shivaya. Welcome to the class. Let's get ready for the practice. Today we we'll begin with sun salutation. So everyone, please stand up.
Let's take two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. The first round of Surya Namaskar. Feet together. Inhale. As you exhale, join the hands to the chest and prayer. Inhale. Stretch the arms up. Arch back. Be gentle. Look up. Exhale. Stretch the body forward and reach down. Inhale. The right leg back. Look up. Hold the breath. Left leg back. Plank. Exhale. Knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, inward to three. Inhale, bring your right leg forward. Place the right foot between the hands. Look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch your body forward. Stretch up. Push the buttocks forward and look up to the hands. Exhale, release. Next round. Inhale and exhale. Join the palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inward to breathe. Inhale, bring your left leg forward. Left foot between the hands, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch your body forward, stretch up. Push the buttocks forward and look up. Exhale, release. Next round, inhale and exhale. Join the palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and reach down. Inhale, the right leg back. Look up, hold the breath, left leg back, body in a straight line. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, bring your right leg forward, right foot between the hands, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up, arch back and look up. Exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up, push the buttocks forward, look up to the hands. Exhale, stretch the body forward, reach down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Let's stay, hold the posture and take a few breaths here. <clears throat> now tuck the left toes in, take a breath, right leg back, hold the plank pose, tuck the abdomen, align the wrist and the shoulders. Push the heels up just a little down, don't lift the buttocks up. As you exhale, bring the knees, chest and the forehead down. Slide the body forward, inhale, large back, cobra, relax the shoulders. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift your buttocks, look to the toes, inverted V. Stay here. Right, push the heels down, hands more down, chest more down. Breathe. Now, as you inhale, bring the left foot forward, place the left foot between the hands and move the right knee just a little away, look up. Breathe. On the exhalation, bring your right leg forward. Stay here. <clears throat> Shift the body weight forward. Chest close to the thighs, forehead close to the knees. If you need to bend the knees, please do that. As you inhale, stretch the body forward and stretch up. Look up to the hands. Head and arms in line, knees straight, elbows straight. Slowly exhale, release. Next round, inhale and exhale, join the palms together to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up, 
and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and reach down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, bring your right leg forward. Right foot between the hands, look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Shift the body weight forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up. Arch back and look up. Exhale, release. Left side, inhale. And exhale, palms together to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank. <clears throat> Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inward to feet. Inhale, bring your left leg forward. Place the left foot between the hands and look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up. Arch back, look up and exhale, release. Next round, inhale and exhale, join the palms together to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg all the way back, look up. Hold the breath, other leg back, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted way. Inhale, bring your right leg forward. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. Exhale, release. Inhale, and exhale, palms together to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back all the way. Look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, bring your left leg forward. Look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back. Look up to the hands. Exhale, release. Next round, inhale and exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back all the way. Look up, hold the breath, left leg back. Plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward. Right foot between the hands and look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up. Exhale, release. Inhale, and exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, stretch the arms up and arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back, look up. Hold breath, right leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch up, arch back and look up to the hands. Exhale, release. Last round, do your best. Inhale and exhale, palms together to the chest. Inhale, arms up, arch back, follow the breath. Exhale, reach forward and reach down, align the hands and the feet. Inhale, the right leg back all the way. Stretch your chin more up. Hold the breath, left leg back, body in a straight line, your back like a tabletop. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. <clears throat> Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. 
push down and lift that energy up, tuck the abdomen in, push the chest more down. Inhale, bring the right leg forward, place the right foot between the hands, left leg more back to the cup. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch your body forward and reach up. Push the buttocks all the way forward. Knees straight, elbows straight. That's very good. Exhale, release. Last time on the left. Inhale and exhale. Palms together to the chest. Inhale, stretch up a large back. Exhale, stretch up forward and reach down. Inhale, the left leg back. Look up. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward. Look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch up, arch back. Look up. Exhale, release. We separate the legs apart. Take a few breaths, relax the body. Keep the eyes closed. Now bring your feet together. Please sit down and lie down. Take rest of your back in Shavasana. Arms apart and the legs apart. Relax. Slow the breath more down. Relax the body from nose to the head. Absorb this heat, the energy, the warmth in the body. Do not resist gravity, just let go in the body. Relax. Take a deep breath in, join the legs together, interlock your fingers, arms over the head, and with a nice stretch to your body. Stretch your body, stretch, release the stretch. Let's now get ready for the single leg raises. Fix your arms by the side of the body, palms facing down. Feet together, toes pulled in towards the head, shoulders relaxed away from the ears, tuck the chin in towards the chest. As you inhale, raise the right leg straight up. Push the heel out. Exhale, bring the right leg down. Left leg straight up, inhale. Exhale down. Right leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Right leg up, inhale. 
Hold the back of the right, right thigh, pull the leg closer. On the exhalation, raise the head and chest, come up. Move the hands more up towards the ankle or wherever possible. Stay here, hold the posture and breathe. Both the legs equally active. Focus on pushing the left thigh more down. Every exhalation, try to pull the leg more in as you contract the abdomen. Breathe. Try to lift the upper body just a little more up if possible and walk the hands more up. Very good. Slowly exhale, put the head and chest down, release the hands down and with control, bring the right leg all the way down. Left leg up, inhale, hold the left leg from behind, pull it in. On the exhalation, raise the head and chest, come up. Walk the hands more up. Hold the posture, keeping the knees straight, neck relaxed, shoulders relaxed. Close your eyes. Slow down the breathing. Slowly, as you exhale, put the head down and bring the leg down. Now adjust your body for the double leg raises. Arms under the body if you have back trouble or if you're joining the class today after a long gap, please put the arms under the body. Arms close to the body or tuck the hands behind the head. Keep the legs together, toes pulled in. Work with your abdomen. Inhale, raise both your legs. With control, exhale, bring the legs down. <coughs> Inhale up. Exhale, both the legs down. Third time, inhale up. Exhale down. Four up, inhale. Exhale down. Five up, inhale. Exhale down. <laughs> One more time. Inhale up. Now bend the knees into the chest and hug the knees with your hands. Press the back down. Once again, raise the legs up and stretch your arms in line with the shoulders. Pull the legs just a little more in towards the head. On the exhalation, lower the legs down to the right. Turn the head to the left. Stay here and breathe. See if you can, bring the legs just a little more up and hold the toes. Breathe deep and slow into the abdomen. Shoulders relaxing down. Now raise the legs up, keeping the knees straight, legs together. Bring the legs just a little more close towards the head and then lower the legs to the left. Turn the head to the right. Stay and breathe. Adjust your body with your legs more up, shoulders more down, breathing into the abdomen. Now as you inhale, work with your abdomen and raise the legs all the way up. With control, exhale, bring the legs down. Relax in Shavasana for two breaths.
Now take a deep breath in, give a good stretch to your body, stretch your whole body, stretch, release the stretch. Bend the knees, turn over to one side, please sit up and relax into the child's pose. Be prepared for the headstand practice. So first take rest, let the blood flow towards the head. Please slowly sit up on the heels. Let's follow the steps to come up into the headstand. Hold the opposite elbows. Place the forearms close to the knees. Stretch the arms forward and interlock the fingers. Now lift the buttocks up and bring the top of the head down, back of the head against the hands. Tuck the toes in, spreading the knees. Walk forward. If you like to stay here, just hold this posture. And if you're ready, bend the knees to the chest, one by one or together. Take two breaths and then move the knees up, go up slowly. Straighten the legs up into the head stand. <laughs> Hold the posture. Just be strong in the mind to stay up. If you've come down, please come up again. Those who are up in the headstand, please tuck the abdomen in and keep the back straight. Excellent. Let's go up slowly. That's okay. Try it again. Those who are doing with the wall support, please release the feet one by one off the wall. Just a few more breaths. Keep holding. Very good, Sarah. Let's follow the steps to come out. Bend the knees, bring the feet down, relax into the child's pose. Please sit up, relax in Shavasana. Turn the head side to side. Take a few breaths in Shavasana. Hmm. Join the legs together, take a deep breath in. Arms over the head, interlock the fingers, stretch your body, stretch, stretch, and release the stretch. Get ready for the shoulder stand. Arms by the side of the body, palms facing down. Feet together, toes pointing up, shoulders away from the ears. As you inhale, raise the legs and palm up, support your back, come up into the shoulder stand. Now bend the knees to the forehead to adjust the body for a straighter back. 
Try to move the elbows just a little more in and hands more towards the bull back. Once you're ready, straighten the knees and raise the legs. Now shift the body weight entirely to the shoulders if the neck is fine this morning. Push the buttocks towards the head. And try to align the heels, buttocks and the shoulders. So if the legs are dropping over the head, take the legs up towards the ceiling. Toes pointing up. Close your eyes. Let's still the body for some time. Relax the legs. The toes, the feet, the shins, the calves. Working on each part of the body, from toes to the head, feel the rush of blood towards the face, locking plenty of blood in the throat region, stimulating the essential glands, thyroid and the parathyroid gland. <coughs> Those who've come down, please come up again after two breaths. If you feel the urge to come out of the posture, just bend the knees to the forehead and take rest for a while instead of releasing the posture. Lengthen up the body as you inhale. On the exhalation, move the right leg down over the head. Keep the left leg lifted up. Try to touch the toes down to the floor. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale the left leg down. Inhale the left leg up. Now get ready for Halasan. Straighten the back, move the hands more down towards the middle back. On the exhalation, go down slowly with control, both the legs over the head in Halasana. Once the toes touch the floor, please release the arms down on the mat and stay here for a couple of breaths. Stimulating the abdominal organs. Watch your breathing. Stretching the hamstrings, push the knees away from the forehead to Achieve that. The entire series of shoulder stand, stimulating the thyroid and the parathyroid gland. Feel it in the throat region. Now support your back. Inhale, come up into the shoulder stand. As you exhale, bend the knees and bring the feet forward and down into the Setu Pansarvangasana. You can also use your arms as brakes and release the posture one vertebra at a time. Everybody from the mat, please bend the knees and come up into the Setu Pandasana. You can either keep supporting the back or hold the ankles. But it's pushed up nicely, making the thighs parallel to the mat. Feel a good arch in the back as you lift the buttocks more up, chest close to the chin. Slowly exhale, come down. Prepare for Chakrasana. Place your hands under the shoulders, fingers turned in. Feet in the same position. As you inhale, raise the buttocks, press the hands and come up. Hold the posture. Now let's go in for the variations. Right leg up as you inhale. Exhale down. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Right arm up, inhale. Exhale down. Left arm up, inhale. Exhale down. With control slowly, come down. 
and hug the knees into the chest. Press the load back to the mat. <clears throat> On the exhalation, raise the head and chest, come up. Bhavan Muktasan, try to hold the opposite elbows and bring the knees closer to the chest. Relax the neck, chin, nose or forehead stretching towards the knees or touching the knees. Slowly exhale, put the head down, release the arms down, stretch your legs, inhale up. Exhale with control, bring the legs all the way down. Matsyasana, the fish pose. Arms under the body, shoulder blades together, elbows nicely in, hands stretching down under the thighs. As you inhale, raise the head and chest, come up on the elbows and look to the toes. Exhale, lift your chest, arch your back and bring the top of the head down to the mat. Try to lift the chest more up to bring the top of the head down. Very good. Keep pushing down on the elbows, reducing the pressure on the head. Stretch your inhalations and your exhalations. Slow down the breath. Slowly, as you inhale, raise the head and chest, come up, look to the toes. Exhale, bring the head down, chest down. Release the arms, rotate the wrist. Turn the head side to side and relax in Shavasana. Take a deep breath, slowly join the legs together, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms up, stretch the whole body, stretch and release the stretch. Please sit up, bend the knees down over and sit up. Join the soles together for the butterfly, sit up straight and move the knees up and down, focusing on the inner thighs. Now stretch your legs forward and bend the right knee. So take the right foot back towards the right buttock. Great. Those who have knee trouble, please don't hold the knee in this way. You can just uh, touch the right foot to the left thigh as we do the Paribrata Janushishasana or the Janushishasana. Now, uh, Bend the left knee and hold the left toes. We are getting ready for Panchasana. Bend the left knee, hold the left toes. Not like this. Place the left foot down and hold the toes. Bend the left knee first and hold the toes with both your hands. Something like what we did in the previous class. Please uh, bring the knee into the chest first, straight in the back. Very good. Now straighten the leg slowly, gently, and bring the leg closer towards the body. Keep the knee straight. That's very good. And work more, bringing the chest and the thigh closer. So try to bring the leg in more. Those who are not able to keep the knee straight by holding the foot, please hold the back of the leg anywhere. Slowly release the posture, bring the leg down, straighten both your legs forward and then bend the left knee, take the left foot towards the left buttock, the heel touching the buttock, sit up straight on the sitting bones, bend the right knee, place the right foot down and hold the toes, hold the sole. Now straighten the knee and bring the leg closer towards the chest. So this gives a very good stretch in the hamstring muscle and it really helps when you do the Pashivadana asana. 
with the knee trouble once again i say don't fold the knee in this way you can fold the knee and bring the foot in towards the right thigh very good hold it slowly release the posture and spreading both your legs forward now get ready for pashi mutanasana stretch both your arms up as you inhale lengthen up and exhale from the base of the spine stretch the body forward and reach down try holding the toes or the outer edges of the feet push the knees more down relax the shoulders away from the ears bend the elbows so that the shoulders can relax breathe into the abdomen every exhalation try to work more to come down closer to the legs hold the posture just relax and do the posture as though i am not watching you let go in the body release all the tension complete surrender of the body to the mother earth mm. as you inhale reach forward and reach up exhale place the hands behind lower the head back as you inhale raise the body and come up stay up into the inclined plane holding 10 9 breathe 6 5 4 3 2 slowly come down relax on your abdomen Make a pillow with your hands. Turn the head to the right. Big toes touching. Feel separated. Relax. Time to recharge the body. Preparing for the back bends. get ready for bhujangasan the cobra place the forehead down elbows close to the chest hands under the shoulders feet together toes pointing back as you inhale raise the head and chest come up stay up and breathe work more with the back muscles push on the lower abdomen to lift the chest up slowly exhale come down turn the head to the left and relax shalab asan please bring your arms under the body feet together toes pointing back you can interlock the fingers place the hands down or make fist of your hands stretch the chin forward as you inhale raise the right leg straight up exhale down left leg up inhale exhale down right leg up inhale exhale down left leg up inhale exhale down take two breaths adjust your body and visualize the locust pose bringing the elbows closer if possible and now get ready as you inhale raise both your legs and come up locust shavasana 
work with your lower back muscles and then use your arm strength to lift the legs more up. Hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release down. Release the arms. Turn the head one side and relax. Make a pillow with your hands. Dhanur Asan, the bow pose. Place the forehead down, bend the knees and hold your ankles. As you inhale, raise the knees and thighs, head and chest, come up. Pull the thighs up, chest up, chin up. Keep holding, breathe. Feel a good pressure on the abdomen. Feel a good arch in the back. So try to lift the body in that way. Last eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slowly release the posture. Please place the hands under the shoulders. Come up in the tabletop position, knees and the hands. Inhale, push the hip back, arch the back and stretch your chin forward. Exhale, round the back, tuck the chin in, abdomen in. One more time, inhale, stretch. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, back to the new position. We stretch back into the child's pose. Relax the back, stay. Please slowly sit up. Let's get ready for the half spinal twist. Sit to the right side of your body. And bring the left foot across the right thigh. Place the left hand behind near the tailbone. Right arm, inhale up, other side. Exhale, twist to the left, lean forward, push the outside of the Left knee with your upper right arm, pull the ankle and look to the left shoulder. Feel good pressure on the abdomen. So draw the knee more in, everybody. Keep the back straight. You should be sitting on both the sitting bones. Watch your right buttock. If it is lifted up, push it down. Shoulders in one straight line. Close your eyes, breathe. Slowly inhale, bring your right arm up, exhale, release. Change the side, sitting to the left to bring your right foot across the left thigh. Place the right hand behind, stretch your left arm, inhale. Exhale, twist, lean forward, hold the ankle. Or you can just hug the knee. Look to the right shoulder. Breathe, relax and hold. Stimulating the abdominal organs and making the spine more flexible, youthful. (laughs) 
Now, as you inhale, stretch your left arm up. Exhale, bring it down. Hug the knees into the chest. Sit up straight, stretch your chin up as you inhale. Exhale, bring the chin down to the chest. Inhale, center. Exhale, down the head to the right. Back more straight, center. Turn the head to the left. Back to the center. Now, uh, we do the warrior pose one and three as balancing postures today. So please come back into the inverted V pose, downward dog or other mukshwanasana. Take a few breaths. Now as you inhale, bring your right foot forward and put the left heel down. We place the hands on the right thigh. First, center the body, center the hip. The hip should be facing forward. Watch it. Right thigh parallel to the mat and left thigh is strong. Now raise the arms up. If possible, join the hands in prayer and drop the head back to look up to the hands. Don't arch back. Just drop the head back and look up. Very good. So keep the alignment in mind. The right thigh has to be parallel to the mat. Left leg has to be strongly lifted away from the mat. Hold here. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we move into the um, warrior three. Keep the arms stretching up, stretching up, come up. Lean the upper body forward on the right thigh. Just go with the steps. Very good. Now, no, 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 don't come down. Arms stretching forward. And now you lifting the left leg slowly and gently off the floor, making it parallel and in line with the body. First, lean the upper body forward on the right thigh. Chest close to the right thigh, actually. Good. Now raise the back leg up. Yes, try it. Doesn't matter how you where you reach, just try. Okay, let, let's release it. Come down and move into the inverted V. Now bring the left foot forward. And come up into the warrior one pose. You know how to adjust the body, just go ahead. Keep the right leg nicely strong and lifted away from the mat. Everybody up into the warrior one, Veerbhadrasana. Hold here. Five, four, three, two, one. Warrior three. So lean the upper body forward on the left thigh and you raise the right leg up. Very good. Take the lift. Very nice. Come up, come up. Very nice. Now you've got to straighten the knee. Niche wala. Yes. Very good. Both the knees straight. Excellent. Take support with the wall if you have wall here. Place the hands on the wall, Abhishek, and do the posture, warrior three. Very good. Hold. And slowly place the back leg down, hands down. Move back into the inverted V. Let's bend the knees and relax into the child's pose for two breaths. Now, please sit up and stand up. Standing forward bend. Feet together, inhale. Raise the arms up. As you exhale, stretch the body forward and reach down. Hold the ankles. Shift the body weight forward. Relax the body. Hold the posture and breathe.
just let go, dangle the arms loose, and one vertebra at a time, please come up. <clears throat> Counter stretch to the body, legs apart, hip width, support your back, lower the head back, push the hip forward and breathe. Slowly come up. Now use the length of the mat. We do the Parshu Konasana. Separate the legs wider than what you do in Trikonasana to be more comfortable. Now turn the right foot out and bend the right knee. Stretch the arms in line with the shoulders. Inhale. As you exhale, bend down to the right side, placing the right hand by the side of the right foot and stretch the left arm up. Outside of the foot, if you put it, the hand, yeah. Look up to the hand. Very good. Hold it. Feel a good stretch sideways in the entire left side of your body. Hold. And slowly come up. Take your time. Don't lose balance. Let's do it for the other side. Turn the left foot out, right foot in. Inhale, stretch your arms in line with the shoulders. Bend the left knee. As you exhale, put the left hand down outside of the left foot. Stretch your right arm and look up to the right hand. That's very good. Hold it. The left knee pushing towards the left shoulder, shoulder pushing towards the knee. As you inhale, taking your own time, please come up. Release the arms down, bring your legs together. Come to the front of the mat. Time for final relaxation. Please sit down and lie down. Slow down the breath. Let's tense the body parts. Raise the right leg two inches off the mat. Tense the right leg. Tense it. Drop it down. The left leg two inches up. Tense the leg. Tense and drop. Lift the buttocks off the mat. Tense the buttocks. Tense and drop. Press the small of the back down, press it down, release. Lift the chest up, up, drop it down. Squeeze the shoulders to the ears, push the shoulders down, raise the arms two inches, clench the fingers tight, tight. Open the fingers, tense your arms, tense, tense and drop. Tense all the facial muscles to the nose, tense, release. Open the mouth, stretch the tongue out and look to the forehead, stretch your eyes, stretch the face, stretch, release. Moving the shoulders more down, turn the head to the right and turn the head to the left. Back to the center, final adjustment to the body for the next five minutes, we'll still the body. Legs comfortably apart, feet relaxed to the sides. Arm six to eight inches away from the body, palms turned up, chin towards the chest. Mentally, relax the toes, the soles, the heels, and the ankles. Relax the shins and the calves. the knees and the thighs. Relax the buttocks. Relax the hip joint. Allow the relaxation to the legs. 
flex the abdomen and the chest. Focus on the back. Flex the load back. The middle back. The upper back. The shoulder blades. Relax the spinal column. Do not hold tight any part of the body. Watch your buttocks, watch the back. Just let go. Awareness to the arms. <clears throat> Relax the fingers, the palms and the wrist. Relax the forearms. the elbows, the upper arms. Relax the shoulders. The neck and the throat. Relax the back of the head, the top of the head, the forehead, the eyes, the ears, the cheekbones, the nostrils. Relax the jaw, the tongue and the mouth. Feel the relaxation to the arms, shoulders, neck, head and the face. Relaxing all the internal organs. Just let go in the body. Watch your mind. Let go in the mind. Relax the mind. Relax. Relax. Relax.
Bring the awareness back to the body, moving the toes, the fingers, kick out the legs and the arms, turn the head side to side. Take a deep breath in, taking your own time. Bring your legs together, interlock your fingers, arms of the head, give a good stretch to the body, stretch your whole body. Release the stretch, bend the knees, turn over, please sit up. We get ready for the prana and practice. We take a while. Adjust your body. Hands on the knees in chin mudra. Back straight. Let's take two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. First round of Kapalakhati. Focus on the abdomen. Inhale deeply. And begin. One, two, 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 one, two. One 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 Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now inhale three quarters of your lungs. Hold the breath gently. Focus at the third eye center. Keep the body relaxed. Slowly, with control, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. The next round of Kapalabhati, focus on the abdomen, back straight. Inhale deeply. And begin. One, two, one, two. One Thank you. 
for the breath retention, keeping the back straight, shoulders show back, inhale, a deep, long, comfortable breath, gently hold the breath, focus at the third eye center. Slowly, with control, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now, we get ready for the alternate nostril breathing. Place the right hand in Vishnu Mudra, left hand in Chin Mudra. Place the hands on the knees. Both the nostrils, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, block the right nostril through the left, inhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, hold the breath, close the nostrils. Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale right on one, on two, on three, on four. Retain the breath, close the nostrils. Through the left exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath, close the nostrils. Right exhale, on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four, retain the breath. Back straight, shoulders roll back. Left exhale of one, of two, of three, of four, of five, of six, of seven, of eight. Inhale, left of one, of two, of three, of four. 
write the exhale of one, of two, of three, of four, of five, of six, of seven, of eight. Inhale, right of one, of two, of three, of four, of eight, and eight. Watch your body, watch the mind. Left exhale of one, of two, of three, of four, of five, of six, of seven, of eight. Inhale, left of one, of two, of three, of four, hold, close the nostrils. Right exhale of one, of two, of three, of four, of five, of six, of seven, of eight. Inhale, right of one, of two, of three, of four, retain. Relax the body, relax the mind. Left exhale of one, of two, of three, of four, of five, of six, of seven, of eight. Inhale, left of one, of two, of three, of four. Hold the breath gently. Lift up from the lower back, little back, upper back, and release the shoulders. Right exhale of one, of two, of three, of four, of five, of six, of seven, of eight. Inhale, right one, of two, of three, of four. Left exhale of one, of two, of three, of four, of five, of six, of seven, of eight. Inhale, left of one, of two, of three, of four, eight. Right exhale of one, of two, of three, of four, of five, of six, of seven, of eight. Inhale of one, of two, of three, of four. Hold the breath, last retention. Left exhale of one, of two, of three, of four, of five, of six, of seven, or eight. Bring the hand down. Take a while. And let's relax in Shavasan for a few breaths. Please stretch the legs and lie down. Arms apart and the legs apart. Relax. Bring your legs together, interlock the fingers, stretch your arms of the head, give a final stretch to the body, stretch, stretch, and release. Bend the knees, turn to one side, please sit up for the prayer. We'll end the class with a short prayer. Asitoma satamaya, tamsoma jyote kamaya, breathe your mouth with angamaya. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamurachate 
पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य शांति 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 थैंक्स टू द मास्टर्स थैंक यू एवरीवन यू मेक्स इट